Ma'am, once again, ma'am. You cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. The best a man can get. Now, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we are going to talk about Gillette and this uh, ad, this advertisement that they put out that, well, is not really an advertisement for uh, shaving products. It's more of a social uh, justice political uh, ad, which is, you know, hey, that's what we all want, right? You know, when, when we want to go look for some good shaving products, you know, we want to be uh, preached to as far as uh, someone's political agenda. Well, this, uh, this advertisement uh, is basically putting men in a bad light and they are getting a huge backlash against people uh, in regards to this whole toxic masculinity uh, thing that's going on. I thought it would be interesting to actually pull this uh, article off of uh, Market Watch because if you've seen previous videos that I've done, you know that I uh, keep an eye on the stock market and and what it does. So, I thought it would be interesting just to kind of compare what's going on. Uh, sometimes you really can't go by the stock market because um, it's it's run mostly by uh, computer algorithms anyway. And I have another video on that. Anyways, uh, P&G's Procter, Procter & Gamble, they're the ones who own Gillette and a lot of products, by the way. They ask men to shave their toxic masculinity and a big backlash ensues, you think? Add is pegged to hashtag MeToo harassment movement. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't even know much about this whole hashtag MeToo thing. Uh, me too sounds kind of like a snowflake thing, you know, like me too, me too. Hey, how about me? How about me? Anyway, um, you can tell these guys are not really happy with this ad advertisement. They're, they're not happy being, uh, blamed for all the, uh, stuff that's going on in the world. And, oh, look, they're all white too. Uh, at least they look white to me. I wonder, I wonder what they're trying to say. Anyways, a 30-year-old tagline selling Gillette razors to men is having its own hashtag me too moment. And some of its whisker target audience and the women behind them are outraged that a big consumer brand stepped outside of grooming. Yeah, because that's always a good thing. You know, if you're selling a product, uh, let's say like a, uh, like a game controller, right? It's always a good idea to step out, out of the bounds of that product and start, you know, pushing your political agenda. I mean, we've seen that work, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, there's little that bristles men, and many women, like trying to define manhood. That's just off the news waves at Procter & Gamble. Uh, their ticker sign is PG, uh, and that's not for parental guidance, although you might need parental guidance before doing anything with this company. Uh, was aiming for. Its marketing executive said, even while acknowledging the risks of navigating social movements, the Gillette brand that claims it's the best a man can get this week launched a campaign around the so sexual harassment movement and with the idea of toxic masculinity already in the zeitgeist. I see zeitgeist and that makes me think of poltergeist. Anyway, the ad got plenty of response. Most came in a Twitter uproar and pledged boy product boycott though included some observers of all genders, saying the timing is right. The, the ad, created by the brand's agency, Gray, who should probably be fired, entitled, We Believe, um, I think we the people believe, you should probably rethink your ad, uh, opens with audio of news about the hashtag MeToo Me Too movement, bullying and uses the hot button phrase, toxic masculinity. A narrator goes on to dispute the notion that boys will be boys. I know what boys like. Asking, is this the best a man can get? I know what guys want. 
is it? We can't hide from it. It has been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off, making the same old excuses. The, the video is sad and depressing while putting all men in a bad light, one Twitter user wrote. Men aren't just waking up to bad things that are going on. There have always been good men, bad ones too. Yes, but the same can be said about women as well. And so there are some things here in regards to uh, some of the Twitter responses. Then there's other brands that are going for the counterplay. <laughs> Gillette is part of the anti-male social justice warrior movement. Any men who are sick of this can come right on over to us, that body barber. So PNG said it has no plans to pull the spot in the face of some negative reaction. Well, maybe they will if they see the stock go down. The Wall Street Journal reported, we recognize it's sparking a lot of passionate dialogue. At the same time, it's getting people to stop and think about what it means to be our best selves, which is the point of the spot. How about this? How about you just sell razors? There's a thought. You know, if I want a razor, I, you know, tell me what it is that you're selling. Don't, don't preach to me. I don't want, I don't freaking want it. Well, let's see how it's affecting their stock. Well, it's not really affecting their stock. Um, this move down here, this, the whole market was going down at this point, but it's been, uh, it's been moving up. So, and it's, it's in the green today. So, uh, but one thing you might want to take a look at is if we kind of zoom out here, you can see that Procter and Gamble, they've had, um, it was just last year that they fell quite a bit. And if you take a look at their um, the resistance level here, you can see it's right about here at around $93. You know, it did break it, but it's falling. Me personally, with what's going on right now, it would not surprise me if the stock falls again and maybe enters another bear market like it did here and right here so uh buying uh, pg stock right now is probably not a good idea um i know i wouldn't all right so i have not watched this ad my goal will be to provide as much transparency i have no idea what that is okay i have not watched this ad so let's go ahead and play this and see what this is I'll make some comments. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Wow. So far, it's... Okay, they weren't all white people, but still. Is it... Boy. Is it me, or, or are they all white there? Uh, it's happening here in bullying as well. problem we can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says he's a lot of And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right oh, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men, And small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boy... Why do they act like this is something new? That they're... They act like, oh, people are just now beginning to be aware of this. I've known... Uh, growing up, boys picking on other boys, yeah, that's happened. But there are other, there have been people that say, hey, you know, hey, you shouldn't do that. They're acting like like there's all been this bad stuff happening all these years and now we're just making light of it there have been good men out there saying 
what's right and what's wrong and and trying men trying to be good fathers trying to uh raise their children right or or trying to tell others that you know this this is wrong or this is right or you know he's watching today will be the men of tomorrow Okay. I can. Eh, I can. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I can see why there's a lot of hate going on for this advertisement. I don't know. This whole thing is just ridiculous. It didn't need to be done. Um, maybe they knew that this is going to draw a lot of attention to their product. You know, uh, who knows? Um, all I know is Gillette. Get woke, go broke.